Why, hello there, everyone. How are you doing? I'm going to talk about hockey for a few minutes. Here's the deal. Uh, people that ask me to do things and continue doing things like hockey, like baseball, for example, like other sports, uh, I have trouble saying no because kind of what I like to do is make things as easy as possible and get information out as easy as possible and have a lot of things become automated. So right now I'm hiking uh, on the San Juan Capistrano trail, about to see a beautiful edifice at the end of this trail. And I don't see any reason why I can't talk about hockey. I can record screens, things work. I'll show you pictures of where I am later. You don't care, you wanna know hockey. So let's talk hockey. So here's today's snapshot. I won't talk about yesterday at all. And if I die because of a mountain lion attacking me because I'm paying attention to a phone on this trail, it's your fault. But let's talk about the games. Caps versus the Rangers. Vancek versus Georgiev. It really pretty strongly looks Caps here winning a game like 5-2-ish, 4-2 empty net, something like that. They'll put them on late. So the line's pretty reasonable for the Caps there, so that's okay. Uh, Rangers are looking a little stronger than you'd think at 49% power up there, but whatever caps probably gonna win that game if they're playing well as you can see over the last 15 days and 30 days caps winning three out of every four games so you know you, you probably got a 25 percent chance of losing that as a win so calgary and toronto toronto team that's i'm going up a huge hill right now <laughs> toronto's a team that's playing awful lately look at that only 17 percent win here over the last 15 days i should have it track my finger touches i could do that but anyway so uh, Toronto, the line, you can see they're minus 158, totally not worth it, how bad they've been playing. And, uh, you know, the projected score only has them winning by a little bit more than a goal. So, anyway, Vancouver and Montreal, sneaky that it projected score says Vancouver wins, 3.3 to 3.1. So, it thinks Vancouver actually wins a 4-3 game against Jake Allen and Nett, who's confirmed. That's interesting. So I'm thinking about an over in that game. As you can see, 6.4 goals is what it's already projecting. I'm gonna continue up a hill. That's funny. St. Louis and San Jose. <sighs> um, 3.2 to three. I'm really interested. St. Louis is apparently playing awful, including with Bennington, who's now at a 66%. Bennington's run in the net seems to be over. He was throwing hissy fits. So they're not as strong of a team as you would think against a bad San Jose team. So I, I like that the algorithm is reflecting, what animal is that? Is that a bird? Like I'll show you later. Um, all right, so tough game to call there. If anything, San Jose's line is a little more favorable, plus one and a half or something. Then there's, then there's what looks like the most lopsided pick of the day, which is Vegas over LA. Make sure you get your goalies right there. Especially Cal Peterson instead of Quick, because Cal Peterson's got a 59% ranking, so it really likes Vegas a lot if Cal Peterson is the starter. So keep an eye on that. I'm going to take a right and go to like a 200-year-old church or something. There are trees there that were older than Lincoln. I'm pretty sure. It was there, it was there a couple years ago. I'll be there again, and I will take pictures. So good luck, everybody. That's your hockey update. We can do it all. We can do every sport. One of these days you're going to find me at spring training being like, guess what? Baseball algorithm's out. And that will happen. So good luck, everybody. May all of your picks be winning. May all your hikes be enjoyable. May all your days be sunny. Good luck.